Again, this is the top bar from my hive out at the property, and it fits. You'll note there's a gap here. That gap should be uh, pretty close to the thickness of a board. What I'm going to do when I get down to it, after I get all the top bars cut, is cut a board to go in here and go ahead and put a hinge and a latch on it so I can latch that board down so when it's moved the top bars don't move. Other than that it's a pretty good fit. So we got both of them built. I go ahead and take a couple of these pieces of uh, wood from the pallet. Grab me a pencil. What we're looking for is a good clean solid connection. No gaps at the bottom. Don't want to give them a hole to go in other than the one I'm going to cut. Pull that forward a little bit. That's good. That's good. Since I'm off a little bit, I'm using a couple of boards that are, oh, a little off themselves, so to speak. And making sure that they fit snugly. And they appear to. There we go. These have got busted off edges, so not a big deal. Get these two boxes set out of the way. And go ahead and chop this off. To put a bead of glue down. And line up this board on the bottom. And get a little bit of gap there. I may fill some of those gaps in. You don't have to, but um, I believe I got a tube of caulk out in the garage. It's not doing anything, so. As long as you got free stuff, what does it matter, right? So far, it hadn't cost me anything. It's been pallet wood and scrap wood and some screws I had laying around. And come up and do this front corner. Caddy corner or opposite from the other one. Down in tight. Another one across from it. All right. Looking good. For the next stage in this project, I'm going to need to get my table saw out and my miter saw. And I am going to slice boards down to the proper width. And then, after they're cut to the right width, I'm going to use the miter saw to cut them off to the right length so that I can put top bars in here. We'll run notches down the middle of the top bars as well. top bars on my top bar hive. This is actually a, a top bar from it. They are just slightly over one and a quarter inches wide. Now it's important that you get, get the width correct. So what I'm going to do is a setup so that top bar into my saw. Adjust this blade up a little. Run it right up to the edge. Lock everything down. And then I'm going to come back and measure it. Make sure that it comes to the correct width. And it's just a touch too wide. All right. Okay. So, so I got plenty of boards down here that are left over from the... Um, pallets pull some of these up most of them are not perfect of course most pallet wood is not perfect 
so we're gonna have to cut and square some of this up um, I'm gonna toss that one yeah, I can work with these well, some of these anyway all right let's have a go with this Get it got me what I needed okay so now I'm gonna take this blade and I'm gonna crank it down just so it's about a third of the way through this piece of wood and then I'm gonna move my fence over so that this cut should go right down the middle of this piece of wood. Now I'm actually testing this on a cracked off end so it's not that big of a deal if it's off. Let's see. Three quarters. I think that's right. No, not quite. Almost. It actually needs to come in just a hair more. As you could tell when I was ripping those top bars, the wood is not in the best condition. There's cracks, there's checks, there's parts where it's split. So what I'm just gonna do is take my master width one here. Go ahead and mark. We're gonna cut these down to size. So after I cut them, I'm going ahead and setting them down into one of the top bar high one of the top bar swarm boxes so that I can make sure I've got enough 